I've never seen a man pull off magenta Jordan ones and a loofah and a, and a, loofah and a rondel. <laughs> a loofah. We're the cast of Raven's Home, and we're here with Seventeen playing superlatives. Oh yeah! Let's yeah! Play it yeah. Woo! That's right. What's that's a? I'm gonna break it down. On stage, it's Ray. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, yeah, like, like in front of the camera. In front of camera, it's Ray. Yeah. And then I want to say off cam is Felix. Uh, Felix. And then um. I say Rondell. I will I say, say Ron Felix yeah. and Rondell. And then Mimi is the funny upon greeting. <laughs> Like the say, you look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her. <laughs> Rondell's are pretty dang nice. I gotta say, Rondell be, be getting that lighting, them angles, bruh. But I've seen Raven in like the pitch Raven. black of night take someone's phone and make a selfie look good out of like at a Halloween party randomly. This That's is true. true. That's true. It's so uh, them two got it. Rondell and Ray. Yeah. yeah Rondell and Ray. I'd say Isaac. No, really? I, no, I actually say Isaac. Memes were lying. We're fully <laughs> Raven. Rondell or Raven? Rondell. Rondell and Emmy. Rondell by a mile. Sorry, Emmy. You're great. Ow. Rondell by a mile. Yeah. Wow. Emmy's close, yeah. but Rondell, man. He's pretty spiffy. Yeah, no, yeah. I have to say, I can't compare. <laughs> <laughs> and look at him. He's in a suit and a hat. No, but like, I've never seen a man pull off magenta Jordan 1s. And a loofah. And a loofah. And, and Rondell does it. <laughs> a loofah? Lufa. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I like Emmy's style because she comes in with the matching two-piece two piece skirt set with the with the crop top journey. Like, it brings me joy. She's kind of channeling Clueless for me, and that is a staple in my life. That's what I tried. Thank you. You're welcome. I see you. That's I what I'm going for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think it's the key pop pop and Auntie Ray. I have to agree with that. Because Pop-Pop always comes in with the with the hat and the and the sneakers. But Auntie Ray always comes in with the with the um the whole ensemble. The jumpsuits, those like ensemble. I'm gonna actually say Felix. He comes through with the bedtime wear and it's great. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. That's fine. Say his hair, the messy hair after taking a nap and then coming to rehearsal. You know. Hey, 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 this is not this what are we doing right now? We're gonna call that R O O B. Rob, throw it on the bed. <laughs> hey, you make it work. You like. No, Felix at 8.30 in the morning is a journey. <laughs> it takes a while to get there, but once you're there, you figured it out. But you know what? How Emmy gets dressed is very important, because you know, she's 5'1". She's sitting... 5'1 and a half. Emmy is actually 3'6", believe it or not. Yeah. Emmy. Emmy. Me. Me. Emmy. Emmy. We know this because we have races, okay? In between scenes, we'll be like, we're Okay, dropping. whoa, 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 first and we're of all. It. We're jamming down the stage. Yeah, <laughs> Emmy takes way too long. First of all, I have an excuse for that. You and Isaac have to change oh, to a t-shirt and pants. I have my first layer, second layer, skirt, jewelry, hair and makeup. So I have a reason, okay? No, these are excuses. You tell me the next time you have to wear a matching necklace and earrings and your rings and fix your hair. I've also girl, never seen Isaac one. wearing a bunny outfit. <laughs> a full on bunny outfit. Mimi. Mimi's the sweetest. Memes. My favorite part of Mimi is like, it's it's amazing because you can hug her and she gives the best laugh in the world. It just brings me so joy. much joy yes. Yes. every time I hug Mimi, even if she's in a bad mood, it's just the best giggle. I had a giggle off and she won. I felt some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> right there, right there. My mom. <laughs> Good answer. I yeah, want to say Rondell or Ray. Rondell or Ray. Yeah. Rondell's a beast. I've been to multiple Rondell parties back in the day, and the food is spectacular. Ray is definitely more, um, I don't know, because I've never ate, never. consumed a Rondell dish, but Ray gets very um, inventive when yeah. eating healthy. It's true, yeah. I do. And very, um, you know, she, she finds different ways to still make healthy food taste good. There it is, butter. It's called butter. <laughs> is it? Is it Raven? Raven? Oh, no, These I'm not dancing. Baby. I just shake my booty, but I appreciate that. This is baby. Ray, me too. Oh no. no, I have to shout out Mimi because at the last time we had a dance off and she danced through at least four opponents and completely, sm including me, and <laughs> smashed all of us. This is true. I'm sorry, Isaac, but she. No, we were. I don't, we know. Were I don't know. I still, I still give it to Isaac, man. I, I've seen some of his moves. No, he's a much. great dancer. Amazing. 
But you put I'd on say some Isaac Usher Newton. or you put on like, I don't know, Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. It's, it's game over. You'll see Isaac. He's just <laughs> doing the most. Yeah. I'm like, how, man? I don't even know what's going on. Rondell! 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 I don't even know how to respond because I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> and if you're off. in a scene with Rondell, you'll most likely forget your lines, too. True. <laughs> you look Amnesia at Rondell man, like a Rondell. Go. Amnesia, Amnesia man! Wait, that's what I'm the best when I got down and everyone around me. So true. It's so true. Oh, guys, I had to come in for one. I had one scene this day and I had one line. And I was talking about it. I came in on set. Everyone's tired. They were working all day. I was like, yeah, I'm coming in. They brought in the guy for the one line. I was like, here he goes. <laughs> and I walk in and I look at Rondell. And I'm like, I'm not <laughs> It's contagious. It's very contagious. You see the person talking and you go, okay. I, I'm, you're waiting for your computer to pull up it, and it's just yeah. like that's gonna happen. Yep. Yeah. Raven always wins. Uh, uh, gives good advice. Raven always Thank gives you. good advice. Thank you. It's Keeps perfect. us moving on set. You have Raven in the scene, you're, you're done. Like she's, she'll yeah. get you through a scene, she'll do it with her own talent, and she'll help you go through it. So she's the best possible person to have on set. You know, Raven, you, I've never, you've never been late to anything. Not I've, at I've all. Seen, sure. Raven's always on time. I'll say Thank that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll say, uh, always has a good laugh ready. She's always got a joke, just to like switch up the mood. If something's running a little slow, we're lagging a little bit, the energy's dying down. She's right back, when she's back up, so, yeah. Not go to the bathroom during a scene. <laughs> well, you gotta go, you gotta go. That is true. Uh, eat during lunch. This fool does not eat during lunch. He just goes, I don't I don't need to eat. I don't need to eat. No, I only do that because for the four previous seasons, I would always eat and be tired after lunch. Like, it's not like I'm not As hungry. opposed to not eating and being tired after lunch. <laughs> No, but when I eat, it makes me like drowsy and like want to go to sleep. So I rather just keep up my energy and then eat after we're wrapped because only we only work for like another two hours after lunch. Isaac would never not have a question. There's always a question with Isaac. He will never not let anything go. Just like what is no no no. But here's the question. But it has nothing to do with what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the question. I don't know how to say that, but that's mine. Hi, anybody have any questions? Yeah, what color is a tiger? Hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mimi gives warm hugs. Yeah. She does. And she's the smallest one, but she gives the best. But I'll double it up. Mimi is the best intimidator. Yeah. Mimi, Mimi will get information out of you quick. Like if we're in the school room, I, I remember she had this this squishy bear and I hit it. You're forgetting get, something. You're forgetting what, the banana. The banana? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not forgetting the banana. How could you? <laughs> and she'll come in there and like, where's my squishy? And it gets real. Real fast. It was a cat squishy, by the way. That's what it was. Mimi's the best at her lines. Mimi is always on point. She is oh always in her mark and she is the best at saying thank you. Even when we know that note doesn't pertain to you. She's like, thank you. And in your head, you're like, oh, you know you did it better than that note. Yeah. She's like, thank you, thank you. She knows yeah. her stuff day one and it's so inspiring. We have to get on our, no, our business, people. It is so yeah. annoying. <laughs> I, I've seen Mimi get a note and say thank you to Shelly. Felix is so funny. Funny, Felix that's exactly what I was gonna say. It's so funny. They, I remember there was one run through we had, run through really quick, we rehearsed and we have to show it to everybody. And he, I don't know what got into him that day, but he channeled every single comedian I have ever seen on television. <laughs> I was like, you know other people are in the scene, right? He's like, no, this is mine today. He will make me laugh from top to bottom. And he he will always put the joke first. And I appreciate that because some people will be worried about their appearance or this or that, and he's all about the craft. So Girl, there ain't nothing to worry about. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I see them eyes, not, Felix. No I see them eyes. Felix is the most giving person I've ever met in my entire life. And I grew up I grew up without a Christmas. Like my family doesn't really celebrate Christmas. And Felix got me a full on Black Panther garment and two rare comic books and a Black Panther and Storm poster cause I love them too. And I want to play Azari one day, but he, um, he's super giving and he's 
he's a he's a great friend, a great person. Thoughtful, thoughtful. very thoughtful. If you tell Felix something about yourself, he will He'll not remember that. it. Yeah. If Mimi right now at the age of nine told her that she likes apple snapple, he'll get her apple snapple until she's 27 years old. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll do that. <laughs> oh, that's a little list. Dance. Dance. Ow. Dance. No, 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 no. No, wait, let me, let me think. Sports? Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Sports. Sports. yeah. Sports. yeah, that's a good one. No, you wait, know what, I have to fight, I have to fight for that one. Cause she did make the game winning catch. I did catch. make a game winning catch. <laughs> one game. Me? Me, Felix, Marissa, Caleb, and Emmy, we got outside after we wrapped and we played a game of football and I thought I had it in the bag. I was covering Caleb, he was not moving. And over me, <laughs> Felix throws the ball, it gets to Emmy. Across I go, okay. the lot, I'd like to I, add. I go, we won, I go, we won. There's no way Emmy catches that. And she I catches the ball and I all I can do is fall to my knees. <laughs> we should see our school room. Um, Emmy has a picture after that happened it's just Isaac like <laughs> it's him buried in his arms on the floor in a ball. I couldn't believe it. I literally said in my head, I was like, oh, he said that to Emmy? I was like, there's no way she catches that across the across the parking lot. There's no way. And, and I throw my head why? in celebration and she catches it and I go. <laughs> and you know why? Because every time someone tells me I can't do something, I have makes to you want to do it more. Yeah. This is true. Hashtag it. Attention. Ooh. Hats. Sports. Shoes. Teaching. Attention. Attention. <laughs> Rondell, Rondell loves teaching. Rondell has been in this industry for a very long time and has been, you know, brushing shoulders with so many people and he has so much knowledge and he's not afraid to share it, which certain people in that in his position could just hold it all to themselves and just look at us flail and look for it. But he's one to sit there and I see him working well with Mimi. She's definitely been in the industry, but he'll place her where she needs to be. He gives us hey that was funny do this again hold on maybe you should do it this way he is always teaching he helped my wife and i with our 8 p.m channel i learned about lighting through him and he's not afraid to share his knowledge and that's appreciated and rondell also directs as well he directed an episode of ours yeah and he's always thinking awesome. also as from a directorial standpoint yeah as far as lighting and shadows and positioning and stuff and he'll help you and pull you to the side and and angle you in places where you can get more camera time so Rondell. he did do that he did it on his episode he was like you know there's no light on you right here. I was like, I don't know my line. You worry about the light, bro. I don't even know my line right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> Raven's Home is a multi-generational um, uh, film. And, oh, no, show. And so um, very much so there's there's things for everybody. Uh, from Pop Pop's generation to my generation, um, there is one thing, at least one thing for every single person. You should watch the show because it's, I don't know, it's awesome, dude. It's so funny. It's like the best of both worlds. I mean, you know, you, if you're fans of That's So Raven, if you're fans of Raven's Home, I love this, especially this season, because I truly do feel like it is the perfect blend of the two worlds. And yeah, you could say there's a little bit of bias there, but I do, I don't know. I think Ray and Rondell just bring that like classic golden age, like the best, best Disney Channel like shows of all time. They bring that element that, that authenticity that I don't know you I don't know if you see a lot of times anymore they just bring that and then you have Isaac you have memes you have Emmy who just come in there and just bring this like next generation this new energy this new light this new atmosphere to the whole the whole show that just wraps it all together the two worlds combining so beautifully and then the great team of writers that we have that know how to so beautifully craft those two worlds it doesn't get better than that in my opinion so I just think the show is brilliant and I, I'm so excited for people to see it yeah I, I can't follow that no it was great. <laughs> this was this was such a great combination of uh bringing back elements of that so raven which are just nostalgic of the house the classroom which I didn't even think about Adrian coming back which I had didn't know at the time uh the new cast is great everybody is just on point it's just it's a really great show it's a show that I would sit down in the afternoon and go, oh, oh, that's, uh, uh. <laughs> I would say because of the cast and like how we're all so individual and bring something so special to the show. And you have Ray and Rondell here, like bringing the classic That's So Raven and might I add Raven's hilarious physical comedy. And we have me, Isaac, Felix coming in with like the teenage stories and like the three of us all kind of 
being so different but blending together perfectly. And then you have little Mimi whose character is like, basically I would say her. She's the meaniest, <laughs> she's the sweetest, she's adorable. And there's some moments in the show where Isaac said she's the best intimidator. She'll come in and then she'll be like, all right, listen up, this is how it's gonna be. And it's just everyone brings something so special and I think it's so special for everybody to be watching. The reason you should watch Raven's Home is because we're still family at our core. We're a lot of fun and we have a lot of heart, man. And the one thing I really like about this season, or I, what I like about our show, we've always, you know, reclassified what people think of when they think of family. Because originally, you know, we had the two moms, two, a, a couple kids, a neighbor, and that's a family. And now we're coming back, we have a grandfather, my mom, a niece, cousin, um, friends, and that's a family. So we're reclassifying what people think of when they think of family. Um, we're showing people themselves on screen. And of course, we're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason people should be watching Raven's Home is because you'll forget that it's that's um, I think the people that <laughs> are watching Raven's Home will really enjoy the fact that there's a lot of diversity in this show as well. We have a very diverse cast. Every character is very well created to where you can look at it and find a little bit of you in someone in our cast. It's not just there, it's also in our writers. We are showcasing how important it is for good comedy, age brackets of all to come together and watch, and we're having fun as well. And I think that's one of the cool things that you can see the difference of in different shows, right? Some shows don't last a long time. And you're like, I wonder what happened. There was something weird, but we're lasting. And that's because we love each other. That's because we're having fun. And that's because we know the importance of the craft, the comedy, the stories. And hopefully we can uh, inspire you to be the best you can be for yourself. Later. Bye. Bye. See ya.